What is up, Geek Squad? So today, as you guys can see from the title, I am going to be going ahead and doing my Morphe Old Boy palette like review and just an eye look to just check out the palette, see how it is, and things like that. Um, so like I said, this is the Morphe Old Boy palette. It's the uh, 25D, and I can show you guys the little tab right there. And yeah, so when you first open this palette if you guys have seen my um makeup haul or whatever i did lately i did show you guys what it looks like but this is what it looks like right here and then right here it's just the names of each color and um it's mostly like neutral type colors i mean we got some orange looking colors we got some brown so it's like mostly neutral and whatnot but we're just going to test this out on the eyes or whatever. And I do have the names here so I can try and tell you guys the name of, of each color. But um, yeah, I didn't prime my lids with anything today. So we're just going to test it out and see how it does with just nothing on the lid. Because not everybody uses something on their lids. Um, I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day or whatever. I'm just going to use like this fluffy brush here and this is actually the AOA Studio E104 brush and I just love these brushes from Shop Miss A. I put the names back on here. The first color I think I'm going to take is this one here. This is just a light color. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to go with this color here. It's like a light shade of brown right here and this is called Max. So we're going to take that and we're going to put this all above the crease and this is actually really pigmented and i don't know if you guys can tell but um ooh. so with nothing on the lids it still pops up really good which is nice i'm actually super surprised that this color is like showing up on me because sometimes lighter colors just don't show up and doesn't really work for my skin tone but this one i feel like i can see it a lot better than some other colors I like that looks good i like that color um how about we go for like a darker shade here like one of these um darker browns down here at the bottom let's see I'm going to put the plastic back on so I can tell you guys the names. Um, I think I'm going to go with Daniel, which is this shade here. It seems like I think this is like the darkest brown in the palette. So we're going to go with that brown. Next, I'm just going to use the same brush. And I'm going to try to focus this one kind of more into the crease. And like I said, these are very pigmented. Like, look at that. And we're going to like try and focus this more like in crease area. This look might look a little crazy because I'm just like digging around in the palette and want to like get a feel for all the shades. These actually blend really nice, really nicely. I really like that. And they go on top of each other. Like you can see each color as you're blending on top of one another, like each color, which is really nice. I did drag it out a lot, but um that's just how I'm blending it so that's kind of my fault there's like no fallout there's no fallout whatsoever but that's because I blended it out a lot but we'll fix that up um now I want to do something like one of these like colors like something with some color um I really think I want to take this shade here and I want to take this shade. I think I want to take these two shades and like put them on and see how that works out. Um, so this one is called Mace. And then the one down here is called, I don't know. I would say Mace. And I'm just going to go with E down here because, but it's E-L-I. So we're going to go with that one, this one up here first. And I'm actually going to take a smaller type of fluffy brush. This one has like a little bit of like color on it so I'm gonna just wipe it off a little bit. I'm gonna try and put that a little bit like towards the crease also and I'm just gonna use this smaller brush 
me work that in. This color is actually really nice. I'm, hopefully you guys can see it. I have to look down because my mirror is right here. So, but hopefully you guys can kind of tell where the shades are. I feel like I should use another brush because I feel like that other color that's on that brush is like seeping through. We're gonna take this Wet and Wild brush here and use that one. And that's how pigmented it is. We're just gonna go ahead and go to this other side. I feel like you can see this color but I feel like it's like a little bit light but maybe because I am layering it on top of a brown but I mean I still can see the shade somewhat it's kind of like a I guess it's like a brick color because I see like a little bit of reddish here but I'm just gonna go with this you know and then I'm going to take that other small little brush that I use and we're going to go in with the E. I'm going to call it E. Shade. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Sorry. That's this shade right here. Take this shade and we're going to stick this kind of like on the lid. Like, okay, this color with what I've done with my eyes today, you can't really see it, but I'm pretty sure this probably would be pretty you know by itself because like i'm not really seeing like i see it a little bit but it's like really faint and i'm not really sure oh it's coming up like that but like i said i can see it very faint it's not nothing too bright but like I said I am like blending and stuff like on top of browns and whatnot like that um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes I'm not gonna do like any crazy makeup or anything because literally it's like 9 25 at night of me filming this video but I really wanted to get this video out and done for you guys because I know I've been slacking your girl has been slacking but I'm trying to get back into it so I'm that shade when i put it on it did seem like it got like over here like on my nose and everything like that so i'm just going to take a wipe and clean up like where i've like over blended and everything and just wipe all of that off which is not a lot at all but we just want to clean that up it's not really on this side too much but you know i still want to Make sure I wipe both sides. There we go. So for the rest of the eyes, I'm going to use some eyeliner with this look. This is definitely like a neutral type palette. So this is like a palette you can use for everyday use, which I actually love. Because to be honest, I really do like my neutral colors. But I'm trying to like get out of my comfort zone, try some new things, try like some actual colors. So, yeah. This eyeliner is running low. But luckily, I have others. <laughs> of course, your girl's gonna use every drop that's in here. No makeup left behind. Okay. So I put the eyeliner on. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. Get my lashes kind of pop in here. Hopefully you guys can't hear my TV in my living room because it feels a little loud to me but hopefully that's not the case hopefully you guys can hear it 
But yeah, this is pretty much all I'm going to do for this makeup look. Nothing too crazy. No other like foundations and concealers and everything because it's basically all about this palette. I just really wanted to test this out. But like I said, this palette is mostly like neutral type color. So if you want like a palette that you can use every single day, this I feel like will be the palette for you because like I said, it's very pigmented. Um, like I said, I did have like, I guess like a little bit of fallout, but I mean, it could just be an could have been the way that I blended the eyeshadows out or something like that but like I said you can just take a makeup wipe wipe it off and it comes straight off these are absolutely very pretty colors like look at this like this palette is gorgeous I actually love the shades that are in here very neutral something for everyday looks I think you guys should definitely go ahead and go purchase this palette this is the 25d old boy palette so definitely go ahead and go purchase that I absolutely love it and the look that I created is okay. It's pretty cool. But if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe down below as always. And I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys.